Hey there, Cheryl here. Thanks so much for joining. Wow, this year is flying by and I'm so excited that you are part of this community and I'm glad that I can be here to support you and being world-class at what is important to you. Now, if you hopped on our live webcast or our masterclass last week, good for you. It was amazing and I was so excited to have you there. And if you missed it, don't worry. We had attendees from five countries and it was really incredible and the feedback has been amazing. So we're going to do another one coming up here shortly. You will be in the know if you are on my list. If you're not on my list, go ahead and do that now because that way you'll be the first to know about the next one that's coming up shortly. Now, if you did miss it, today we're gonna to talk about a few of the tips from that live masterclass that resonated with so many people that were on that call, on that video call. So the first thing is, and I'm gonna start with a question is, are you ready for your next big win? I don't know about you, but I am. And so we're gonna go over a couple tips to help you have your next big win. But here's the thing, and I have to be totally transparent. A lot of times when you want a big win, it can be hard, it can actually be really hard. So a lot of times when you're trying to get to the next level, it can be difficult. And so I just wanted to put that out there and be transparent. I think it's better to know that than for me to tell you, I'm gonna give you three tips and it'll be a piece of cake. But the good news is, is that I'm here to support you along the way and there are tools that you can learn to make it a little easier and to make sure that you can dust off and keep going in the event that you hit any roadblocks, all right? So you ready to learn a couple tips? These are from, straight from our global masterclass and I'm going to share them right here in case you missed it. The first one is, if you want your next big win, to get clear, that is, Get clear on what you want and why it's important to you. Now, I have to tell you this, clarity is so important. Lack of clarity is the death of productivity. So if you're a little unclear or a little wishy-washy or a little cloudy, then it's time to take the time to journal or do what you need to do to really think about what it is that you want and why it's so important to you. Now I'm gonna ask you to take it to another level. A lot of times when people are deeply passionate about something or they really want something, it depends and it not depends, but it partially comes from someone or something that is very important to them. So let me give you an example. Mine is my dad. Growing up, he always told me if I was resilient and I knew how to focus, I could do anything. And so that sounded like amazing advice, but I didn't really know how to do it. It made sense to me, but I didn't know how to be resilient. In other words, I didn't know how to recover from failures or setbacks, and I didn't know how to focus sometimes when I was in a high pressure situation. So that's why I'm very passionate about helping you and eventually helping 10,000 people this year to be mentally tough. So you can dream, plan, and achieve your best. So you don't have to go through that same struggle that I did, but it's also meaningful to me because I'm honoring my dad and carrying on his legacy for that good advice that he gave me. So when I ask you to be clear on what you want and why it's so important, I want you to really think about who inspired you. Are there any situations that inspired you? You know, I've talked about Leroy Dixon before, who I've interviewed. He is a two-time Olympian gold medalist in track and field. He doesn't even like running that much, but he ran because his family was having some problems, and every time he ran, the faster he ran, the more his family seemed to come together and cheer him on. So that was his why. He felt like he was running for the life of his family. And so I want you to think about any experiences that you've had maybe when you were a little younger or earlier on in your life or any situations that have inspired you to help you figure out your why so you can gain some further clarity on what's important to you and why. So getting clear about what you want and why it's important, that is the tip number one that's going to be the starting point for your next big win. 
Now, the second thing is to take control. A lot of times we want a big win. It tends to be down the road a little bit, and it is. It's a big thing, and sometimes it gets a little bit intimidating, meaning, or we can get thrown a little bit off track because if we don't make perfect progress in one day, then there's a disconnect between where we are today and down the road six months or a year to what we want or even a few months down the road. So by taking control, what I mean is, is to really think about today and this week, what are the steps that you can take that you have control over to make progress. So let me give you an example. I was talking to a woman last night who wanted to make a career shift. She wasn't even sure what the career was gonna be. There are a lot of unknowns, but she said the first thing she needed to figure out is how much money she needed to make and because she's had a change in her family situation. And so that was the first thing she needed to figure out. What income did she have? What did she need to make? And that was the first step so what did she have control over? Making a couple phone calls that week to figure out what her income is and also to figure out her budget. So that was what she has control over. Now, a lot of times when I was talking to her, she was paralyzed by the fact that there's a big change coming up. And so sometimes we're tempted to do nothing. So in other words, I'm really encouraging you and I'm inviting you to think about what you want and why down the road, but then think about, well, what do I have control over and how am I gonna make progress today? Even if it's small, a lot of little baby steps add up to something. And so please think about that and start to take control. When we start taking control of what we want, we tend to be more calm and more happy. And that's not just great for us, but it's really great for those who we influence and those who we serve as role models for. All right, so get clear on what you want and why. Take control over the short term, meaning the next couple days or couple weeks. And then finally, and this one's really important, the third thing is if you want and you're ready for your next big win is to celebrate. So let's say you're that person that needs to start a new career and you have no idea what it's gonna be but this week you make those two phone calls um, and you find out how much you need to make and then you also sit down and figure out your expenses and you figure out a budget. So you haven't figured it all out, but this is very important that you celebrate that win. You celebrate that you made an important phone call and that you sat down and you jotted down all of your expense, excuse me, expenses, maybe put them in a spreadsheet. So celebrate that. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the science behind why this is so important. You know, and of course I geek out on this stuff, so I'll spare you, I won't go too deep into it, but we tend to remember or imprint in our brains what we surround with a lot of emotion. So a lot of us can think of the last time something really awful happened. Like for me, I really remember when there was an earthquake in San Francisco in, 19, I don't want to date myself, AD, uh, let me think when that was, in 1989, I was in San Francisco, there was a big earthquake, and I remember the pants I was wearing, I remember it was 5.04 in the afternoon, I mean, that really imprinted in my brain, so that is what we tend to do, that is our default, and we tend to kind of brush off the things or not remember the things that are good, even the little things. So if someone says, maybe you have a nice outfit on or what have you, but this is very important to be aware of. So if you start celebrating the, the things that you do well, the things that you have control over, the things that you commit to day in and day out, week to week, then it's gonna start to build momentum for you. It's gonna start to build confidence for you. So we're gonna try and turn this upside down and put a lot of emotion and really celebrate the good things that you do, the things that you have control over to make progress and start to defuse the setbacks. So if you get uh, turned down or if you get you know, maybe a job, you have an interview, it doesn't go so well. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna invite you to get curious about the not so good things and celebrate the good things no matter how big or how small. So I hope that makes sense to you. We covered a couple of the things that I went over last week in my 
global live broadcast. If you missed it, stay tuned. We're going to do it again back by popular demand. And just going over today what we talked about a couple of these tips if you want your next big win. First, get clear on what you want and why it's important to you, really clear. Think about who has impacted you in your past or maybe what situation. The second thing is take control. No matter how big or how nebulous or how impossible your big goal or dream seems, commit to taking the baby steps this week, things that you have control over, even if they're small. And then the third thing is celebrate the wins no matter how great or how small. Take yourself out for a coffee, do a happy dance, call up a friend at the end of the week, whatever you need to do. Be sure to celebrate those things that you do that you have control over that makes you progress forwards. So I hope these things were useful for you. Please do keep your eye out. We're going to have this live global webcast again. It's a masterclass on mental toughness in the workplace. And if you hop on live, that means you have skin in the game. That means that you can ask me questions. I'm here to help you any way I can. If you're not on my list, go ahead and do that at www.cherylkline.com. Please do reach out to me if I can help in any way. Here's to you being able to dream, plan, and achieve your best. I look forward to seeing you soon.